Hey Divas and Divos, it's me, Just Londa, and I am living my most chocolatey life. Just looking scrappily on, just. Uh, I'm just saying, look at, just. So, most of these are new products. Most of this stuff is new products. Um, if I seem to forgotten something, I'll, I'll put a notation um, down and below what this look is or look like. Mm, 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 mm. Just look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, divas and divas, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful big thing footage. Alright, divas and divas, so I got my brows already done um and i'm loving this color because the this most of these are new products all right um so yeah it looks really good um and i have painterly paint part on the lid i also have my sephora um bake powder in my crease so i want to use this palette here um I told you I had been hoarding stuff and you'll see the whole um, the whole will probably come first and I'll link it right there so I hope everyone's doing all right my husband is going back to work they need him just saying so I have not played with any of these shadows. I don't know anything. So I'm just going in. Ooh, that's beautiful. So I know y'all already seen it, but it looks like this hair. So I don't know how, you know what? I'm just going to go in and if I clock it up, we'll fix it up. So yes, my husband is going back to work. That puppy is getting on my nerves. Um, I'm gonna go in with this brownie color here and put that in my crease up at the top part because I want my eyes to look a bit rounder. So we'll start like this. Kind of. I don't know if I'm gonna blow it out or what, but yeah. So, ooh, so he's going back to work. So now it's just me, my son and my daughter. And, um, ooh, he has to break the news to her. She is not gonna be happy about it at all. She, she, she's a daddy's girl, but she, I think she was kind of tired of him being here too. I am noticing that the more that I layer onto it, the more it gets like that, um, the more that it oxidizes. So, I'm gonna take some of this yellowy color here and try to sweep it up at the top. Okay, yeah, right up here. That's cute. Okay, we getting into it. All right, so far I, I love how it's looking so far. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush here. I'm gonna go in with this color here and put that on the outer V. So the states are opening back up. How do we feel about that? I'm still a bit concerned because typically stuff comes in waves. So just because it looks like it's all right, doesn't necessarily mean that it's all right. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of concerned about that. I'm gonna put some here. in a corner um i still have not gotten okay to teach zumba
and to tell you the truth, I'm not ready to teach anybody's class. Like I've been, I've been a couch potato. And all I'm doing is just making sure that these edges all blended out. No, no, um, extra business, extra business, no extra shadows, just whatever that's on there. So I'm gonna take this brush here and use this color. This is a Makeup Shack T39 brush and just swipe that. Oh, this is chocolatey, isn't it? Oh my gosh, this is so chocolatey. This is nice. Mm. I want to wet it, but I'm not going to. I do have the Pat McGrath. That was a hold. Let's let's let me not make myself upset, all right? So I got the um the one with the purple in it. I don't recall the color. And I'm gonna go into this gold hair, flip my brush over. And put some of that in the in the middle of it. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let me get out my stuff to do my base because I got stuff to do my base too. All right, so to moisturize my face, I'm going to use the Ordinary Buffet. And then I'm going to... So this is not my complexion. I went against what I knew. It was like, let me go ahead and buy this because I went against what I knew. So I bought the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum 45 SPF. And I got the color Cinderwood. Now I got this color because Miss Jackie Ina uses this color and typically we wear the same shade. This looks a bit sketchy to me. Like I really think I should have went in with 5W1, but I went in and bought this one. So <sighs> then, so Pat McGrath had a sale and that was a whole mess okay because i placed two orders and my it the rent will be up here but this was a hot mess so i got the color m21 so let me just shake this up and put this on my face first And I'm going to use this as a primer and everything because that's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, this feels really cool. Mm. So I did try to go live and I took it down because it just wasn't working out for a sister again. Only because I want the best for y'all when I come and do these lives. So yeah, I like that. That makes my face feel a bit tacky. So I like that. Um, I know I'm going to like this color because that is what I have on underneath my brow. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, I love this color so far. Because I am starting to get bags underneath my eyes. 
from this non-sleep that I'm going through. I have no idea what's going on with my body, why I can't sleep. That insomnia is awful. Is anyone else not sleeping? Like, let me know. Comment down below if y'all not sleeping well. Like, I swear, I feel like this is a hot mess. I I can't I can't even talk about it. That's how bad it is because I I sleep all the time, all the time during the day because i don't go to bed until three four five o'clock in the morning even with sleep meds and i don't really like taking sleep meds because it makes my hip like i feel funny in my hips and my legs and that keeps me up at night This color I'm glad I went with this color because I was not sure so I'm going to start off oh oh we are runny this is what she looks like oh 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 she is running I'm gonna take the Royal Elaine nickel bomb 06 brush okay it's not bad i think i think that the the color the color is like the undertone even though it's a w and it's supposed to be warm it's a it's a tad bit off like normally i like to look a bit more yellowy um and to me it looks like it's a little bit more neutral the coverage is really nice I'm just going to, and I had like a half a pump going on. Looking like I got cradle cap on the side. <laughs> bad it's not bad I think the bright under eye to me helps it out um, for me for my taste and things like that all right so I also bought um, we're gonna set my under eye because my under eye is starting to crease let me see hold on let's see yeah she's creasing um, But it's not too bad like I can still deal with it so let's I do have a powder let me get it okay so I got the Charlotte Tilbury flawless airbrush flawless finish powder in the color number three I got here the um, Royal and lame nickel balm brush complexion and then I'm going to use that for under my eye um, I hear so much good things about it and I know this is supposed to be like for the whole face to set it, but I'm just gonna use it for under my eye and my loud and my um highlight colors.
it's a bit powdery um but it's nice it toned down everything it blended everything out like it gave me it gave me a blur effect blur effect I like that so yeah that's 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 real proper also I got um, bronzers all right so let me contour my face right quick and then we'll come back with the bronzer bronzers so these are the ones that I picked up I picked up the Fenty one for Coco Naughty um, I was not about to buy that cream bronzer I just wasn't so this is it and then this is not even what I need this is Estee Lauder and then we have um, Sephora's bronzer so looking at these side by side this one looks a bit lighter this one looks a bit red like um I did swatch the two and I'll do that um I think I'm gonna go in with this let me go in with this one first and if I think I need a well everyone knows what this one looks like let me go in with this one so this is a Sephora matte um, bronzer in the color 6 Ibiza and this is the Makeup Shack T7 yeah I like this color it's very potent as well um, Oh yeah, I really f like this one. I'm already creasing underneath my eye, but that's always, that's an always thing. I'm going to take the LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliner, and this is Ultimate Black, and just line my eye right quick, my waterline. And for some effect, I think I'm going to go ahead and line the top of my eye as well. I like that. I like it. I like it. Uh, lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with this Morphe brush in this yellowy color and just start going underneath the eye with it. I'm gonna go in with a tighter brush, and um, I need to invest in some pencil brushes because. I'm always looking for like a tighter brush. This is the BM um, 15 brush by um, Royal Lane Nickel. And I'm going to just go back into this brownie color here. I'm going to go in with the Sephora Pro Palette and pick up LA only because it's right there. That's all. Alright, so I am going to throw in a lippy. I don't even know what else I have in there, but whatever it is, I'm not pulling it out. You'll see. 
in that hole there. Um, I wonder if I should put something in, in a corner though of my eye. Like I love how this looks. Um, Mm. Like I love the dimension right here. Oh. We'll see. If I throw, if I put something on in a corner, I'll let you know. All right, divas and divos, this is the finished look. Okay. Oh, it came through. So I did actually put a little bit more highlight on top of my highlight, which is Fenty Beauty um trophy wife and then i also put a little bit in my inner tear duct of my eye for my lip i used um the gordon cosmetics lip liner and i believe this is fresh brew for mac did i use fresh brew no i'm sorry this is cis from mac and then i also topped it off with the milani lip gloss in um Luster Light 110, love that. The lashes from Pretty Glam. Um, I also used the setting spray. Um, Fenty, would it do? Um, anything else differently that I, I need to? Oh, yes, I also did do my buffing technique with my um, powder. Okay, so let's get into these deeps. Let's get into this. Oh. Hold on, hold on, because that, that, that wasn't supposed to be there. I'm just saying. <sighs> this is nice. The Chocolate Palette by Juvia's Place. Pigmented as all get up. Um, that brown color that I used that's like my favorite brown. If I think I'm gonna depart this and put this, I don't know. I'm not, let me not say that because then I may not use it because no one's using single shadows anymore. But that brown color, it's everything, everything. Um. The complexion is not bad. Like I said, I do believe that the color is right. The undertone is not for me. Um, but it looks good. Like with everything all tied together, it does look good. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I love that the fact that it, it's packing a, a bit coverage and um, still give me skin like like I love that that's why I love like um, the Juvia's place because it's giving me coverage but it's a little bit um, but that's a little bit more heavier that's that's more full coverage this one is more medium light to medium because it's really running and stuff so I really like this this will probably work into my everyday the ordinary buffet I like how it's sticking onto my skin. I didn't have any problems. I didn't feel like it was going to burn because I did look on it and it said something about irritation to take it off or something like that. But I don't have that irritation. It just looks good. Like my skin is performing. Love it. The, um, the Pat McGrath um, concealer. Love the color. The color is awesome um everything is still gonna crease on me because i'm just a creasy mess but other than that that's good that tilbury charlotte tilbury powder i think i should get like a lighter color now but that's gonna have to wait until like a, a sale because i just can't see myself buying it it didn't bring my look down but it just you know um it did um, dull down just a little, not much. So I want more of a brighter look, so maybe I should go for the medium.
but I like how flawless it looks like it, it is holding up to its word flawless airbrush flawless whatever that the case may be it is holding up to its word it really is um you don't know but I also bought the Anastasia um, mascara I like the mascara on its own if I did like a more natural look that mascara would probably be like my go-to that mascara and the milk mascara those are like my two lovelies like I don't know what to say I, I love both of those so um I like the way I could comb those out and make them not fl not fluffy but enough to get noticed so I have that on my top and bottom lash um bronzer so this bronzer it's kind of funny because you know there is a bronzer in the pro palette here and that is called jet setter so I'm just going to swatch jet setter and Ibiza so this is jet setter and this is Ibiza so Ibiza is a bit more redder than Jet Setter, but in all in all, it just it just looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Ah, oh, like I said, I did use the um, what I do Fenty spray. It's really light, like when it comes out, like I was expecting to, not to get drenched, but just to feel it, like it's so airy and light. So. I like that, that was cute. Um, so I believe that's everything. And um, yeah, this, 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 this is a number one stunner here. I, I love the look, I like I love it, I love it a lot. So yeah, divas and divas, let me know if you've got any of these products, what do you think? Um, let me know how you think this look came out. And um, yeah, Divas and Divas. Oh, in the Fenty Brow, the Fenty Brow, that color. So I have the red one, we know we have, I have the red one, but this color is cute, like this is my brow color. And I knew I was gonna like it um, because I like the way it performed when my brows was a bit lighter. So yeah, Divas and Divas, let me know, comment below. I know I'm late to the game, but you know, certain stuff I just, I've been hoarding stuff and I'm like, yeah. you know, I pick and choose my battles, pick and choose my battles. So yeah, divas and divas, thanks for watching, rating, subscribing, all that good jazz that makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. Peace and peace. Bye.